the people who are misguided, they always lose hope in Allah's mercy. They always lose hope in Allah's rahmah. And they fall into the traps of the shayateen, of the ones who are misguiding. And they lose hope. And then they fall into darkness. Therefore, for us, we need to understand that we are moving towards the light. We are moving towards salvation. We are moving towards Allah's rahmah. We need to keep these doors of guidance always open. We have to be afraid. We have to be wary. We have to be wise to look upon who is our friend and who is our enemy. And in the final verse, غير المغضوب عليهم ولم ضالين Allah's wrath, Allah's Anger is upon those who are misguided and those who also misguide. Shaitan took an oath when he did not prostrate to Adam after the order of Allah. He says, I'm going to misguide your people and your creation until the day of judgment. So that's why we need to be wary of Shaitan. We need to be wary of those people who follow in that type of thought process and that type of movement and this is tawalla and tabarra dear brothers and sisters which is part of our furu ad-deen the branches of religion tawalla we need to follow those people who are guided we need to follow those who are giving guidance to us and showing the right path the imams the ahlul bayt and tabarra we need to distance ourselves we need to have nothing to do with the people who are misguiding. We need to be so far away from them and be wary of their cunning ways of trying to woo us into these worldly pleasures and getting us away from the right path, the Sirat al Mustaqim. And may Allah grant us that we continue moving towards Him and towards His light even after this blessed month and throughout our lifetime.